Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's episode I'm going to be teaching you how to turn this into this. So as you can see this image is pretty dull, it doesn't really have much life and I want to add an autumnal feel to it using oranges and warmer tones to really bump up the vibrancy within the image. Now to achieve that look I'm going to be using camera raw filter, colour balance, curves and also the colour lookup adjustment layer as well. So stay tuned and let's get started. So first off I'm going to duplicate my background layer using Command J or Control J. I'm going to right click on that layer and I'm going to convert to Smart Object which essentially will give me more control if I need to change anything at a later date. So I'm going to go to Filter, then the Camera Raw Filter and I'm going to tweak this image to my liking so I'm going to bump up a little bit of the exposure there plenty of contrast bring down some of the highlights bring out the shadows bring out the whites a bit reduce a bit of the blacks add a lot of clarity Add some vibrancy and I'm going to click OK. So just by doing that it's added a little bit of life which is great. The next step is adding the autumnal colours. Now what I'm going to use is the colour lookup adjustment layer. So it's just here and this is available on later versions of Photoshop CC. So I'm going to click that and as you can see here we've got a drop down list of various different effects and tones and I have talked about these in a previous video but the one that we're going to look at here is fall colors now that's pretty obvious about the effect we're going to have here it's all about autumnal colors so we're going to click that and just that has added real life to the image real autumnal rich warm tones and let's just have a look at the before and after that's looking really really nice now if you don't have later versions of Photoshop there is another little way you can do it and that's using colour balance. So I'm going to go to the adjustments here. I have my adjustments set up in a panel here but you can go down here and select colour balance. Essentially it's just adding some red into the midtones and adding maybe a bit of yellow as well. It's all about preference so you can take it as far as you wish. But I'd probably say about there. So that's before that's the after and then I want to add a bit more contrast to it so I'm going to add an S curve at this point or it's also known as a linear curve so we go to curves here in the adjustments panel I'm going to make an S curve so we put two points there and that's all it is it just adds a bit of contrast now with color balance it doesn't have the exact same effect as the color lookup but it definitely is a great alternative if you don't have a later version of Photoshop. My preference, I do prefer the colour lookup. I think it gives it real richness into the red and warmer tones of the image. And I think it does look fantastic. So if I just group these together, let's take a look at the before and after. Even the blue tones have really come out really nicely. And we've added a warmer effect to the coat. The boots look really cool. It's looking really crisp vibrant and a real autumnal feel and that is it that's the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this please don't forget to give it a like i'd really really appreciate it if you want to see more from me you can check out the rest of the channel you can subscribe if you want it's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest content don't forget to check out tipsgirl.com for the latest photoshop and lightroom tutorials I've also just updated my portfolio on my website, so if you do happen to be interested, be sure to check out francescahughes.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Photoshop Pro and on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.